Let's talk to David Paul. He's the managing director of Vector Vest UK. Very good morning to you, young David. Yes, good morning, Moss. Right, we've got a number of thought-provoking slides as always. Let's talk about UK market timing. Um, recently, you said that your short-term and longer-term signals were both on a raging buy. That's I'm not sure. sure it was a raging buy, but we've rallied 900 points on the FTSE 100. Is it still a raging buy on your system? Oh, yes. The, the trends are still there. Certainly, we're at a very important high here. Could pull back for a day or two, I suppose. But certainly, the uh, short-term trend is up. The longer-term trend is up. Uh, the momentum of the market uh, hasn't been stronger in quite a long time, clearly helped by the weakness in the pound, yeah. which is probably uh, set to continue, I think, uh, for a little while. Uh, uh, so yes, uh, so it's been a great time. So in terms of field position, you're not fearful of a sort of correction, selling may and go away? No, I'm um, not. I'm not. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, do my best to trade what I see. And at the moment, uh, everything is good and I must be strong. OK, well, let's go across to Wall Street and look at the US Composite. Is this the same sort of picture? Is well, this going to take out a and make new highs, down? It's lagged a little bit, mm. uh, that's for sure. But it's a very strong technical picture. Right. The market has gone sideways in a, a, a pretty much textbook five-wave symmetrical triangle. And it looks as if it wants to break up from that triangle. Uh, at the same time, I put on a technical study that technicians refer to as the MACD. Now, what we're looking at is a weekly chart of the VectorVest Composite US. And that weekly chart is showing a, a technical phenomenon known as reverse divergence or hidden divergence, which invariably precipitates a move up the page. In fact, some technicians refer to it as a slingshot. Okay. So, based on my unfortunate Unfortunately, 35 years of technical analysis experience, um, uh, the probabilities favor the US market moving up strongly. Now, on VectorVest, the founder of VectorVest, uh, Dr. Bart Delito, uh, who's a primarily a fundamental analyst, he has a, a fundamental model uh, which looks at the driving forces behind the US market, uh, namely uh, inflation, interest rates, uh, and uh, Based on that model, he sends out an essay every weekend, and he firmly to all our customers, and he firmly believes that we're in a stage four bull market. So both the technical evidence and the fundamental evidence are saying the same thing. Uh, so we believe that uh, the bull market in the US is mature, but it's still got a kick in it. Okay, on that note, let's go through a few individual components. Uh, let's talk about persimmon. Um, this is on a buy on your system, is it? Quite so. It's been a buy uh, for the last month or so. Uh, it's uh, significantly undervalued. That's the green line above the price action. Uh, the blue uh, line is earnings per share, which is growing strongly. It's just broken out of a five-wave uh, flag pattern and looks to me as if it wants to break uh, significantly higher over the next weeks and months. It's not going to shoot the lights out, but a nice uh, uh, low volatility move uh, higher. Uh, over the next week or two. Understood. Okay, let's talk about Anglo's, same picture. Well, Anglo uh, undervalued uh, by our model, earnings per share growing. It's, it's uh, pulled back to support, uh, that blue line that I've drawn under the price action, and it's broken out uh, of uh, that uh, consolidation uh, towards the end of last week. It'll probably pull back and kiss the old resistance, but uh, that breakout looks as if it can move and it's got legs. Okay, let's move on to Kaz. Kaz uh, has been a, a, a base holding of my own for a very long time. Um, again, we can see uh, undervalued, earnings per share growing. It pulled back to support and was sitting at that support line now for the last year, broken up quite strongly. Again, uh, it pulled back a little bit yesterday. Uh, I would expect that even under the most uh, bullish circumstances, when a market breaks, it normally comes back and kisses before it moves back up the page again. So I'm holding uh, both Anglo and Kaz. Um, uh, and um, I'm very happy with both holdings. Okay, let's move on to Cranswick. Well, Cranswick, uh, that's a weekly chart of Cranswick that I've drawn, uh, I think it's weekly over the last three years. Again, uh, the share pulled back to long-term support. As you can see, earnings per share growing very strongly. And again, it's just pulled out of a flag pattern uh, and broken upwards. Now, again, I put on, I think on that chart, the MACD indicator, it shows very strong reverse divergence. Uh, and I believe that Cranswick uh, is heading. My technical target on Cranswick is 42 pounds. It's trading about 30 now. Don't expect it to get there in the next week or two, uh, but uh, have the odd sausage along the way. It'll help it go help it up the page. Understood. Okay, well, in terms of stocks, let's wrap up with Golf Keystones. 
Well, Golf Keystone, I talked about at the Vectorvest blog, and uh, it's moved up the page with the oil price. Um, it's coiling uh, in a, a small little flag pattern, uh, and I think that if it breaks out of that little flag pattern, it's got another 20-30% to run on the upside. Uh, we've had a very, very good run in uh, Golf Keystone at Vectorvest. We called it on our blog about six weeks ago or right. so. Uh, so that's clearly a speculative stock, uh, and uh, if you look at the chart going back for many years, you can see that the old high way back five or six years ago is a mile higher than it is at the moment. So um, yeah, uh, 20 to 30 percent more upside, I think, in well, that stock. That's interesting call. Okay, Brett, let's wrap up with the last slides. Important numbers. Um, you're happy to take um, phone well, calls, emails, yeah, sure. Any uh, sort of queries. David Paul at, at uh, Vec David dot Paul at vectorvest dot com. And uh, next Wednesday night, the 23rd. Uh, we have a seminar in central London, uh, and it'll be great to see everybody. If you go to the website, you can book for that. Thanks it's free. That note. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Moose.